going straight into it. Namaste, my beautiful queens. The part two. Love from a power perspective. Um, please watch part number one. I was talking about this. Uh, I am asking you to watch what I'm talking about because I believe with each particle of my fiery soul uh, that it has something what can be uh, this in your life, this spark. I believe that one word you hear from me or several words we, we, we can do can be this, can become this. Aha, I got it now. I understand it now. Uh, so please watch part two. Where is my coffee? Okay. So uh, in the part one, I finished uh, describing this. What is the love as a weakness? And why love as a weakness when you do everything what is written here can only lead you to be broken hearted destroyed and left behind why you must not act like this why if you want a king i, I said in a previous part you need to be a queen if you want to be a tiger you need to be a tiger you you cannot deal with a tiger if you're a mouse this is a mouse right here what tiger is gonna do to you if you're a mouse he's gonna play with you He's going to play with you as long as he's not hungry, as long as he enjoys it. Then he's going to even either crush you, eat you, kill you, or throw you away. I'm being harsh now, but I want you to understand what I'm talking about. Because 80%, 90% of the requests I get from my reading are coming from this. And the more you understand, the less clients I'm going to have. And I have to go back to uh, to do a, a day job for a little pay. But still, I will not stop trying to bring you out of this type of behavior into this behavior. So I said in previous part, what is love as power? Especially Twin Flames, please pay attention. I will be talking about us loving from the perspective of power and uh, particular about myself why uh, i had chosen this instead of go to hell i don't want to think about you and then hell with you i don't care where you are who you are with or whatever is happening to you why uh we i say we uh, at the point of the time right now, we have no right to do this, Twin Flames. I will talk about it a little later. But uh, not Twin Flames, please pay attention as well, because it's about you too. We Twin Flames are here to explain everybody what you can be, what you are. This is our goal. This is our job, part of our job here. So, please find the movie called Anna and the King with Jodie Foster. There is a scene. Why, if you are dust at his feet, you can only end up broken-hearted, neglected, left behind, um, because this is how the things are. If you want him to love you, truly, deeply, you must be equal to him. So, this movie, Jodie Foster uh, stands in this huge area waiting for the king to walk in. And he walks in into this area. He has to sit on his throne. Everybody falls down, like really, really falls down with their head to the floor. She keeps on standing. She doesn't even put her head down. She keeps on standing, looking at him. And uh, she completely refuses to obey all these rules. She sees him as equal. And uh, in the, I think after that thing was over, it was then advisor to the king which said, Have you seen her? She thinks. She's equal to men. And he says it with such disgust. She thinks she's equal to men. So this happens like 200 years ago or something like this. And the king of Siam, I think it was Siam. King of Siam, Siam he says, no, 
she does not consider herself equal to the man. She considers herself equal to the king. And uh, you know the story. He falls in love with her. He who is a king. He who has a harem of 10,000 women, whatever. But each one of those women in his harem act like this. Because they were taught to act like this, because they were trained to act like this, because they were brought up to act, to act like this. And there she comes from a foreign land and she behaves like she's equal to him. She's not afraid to tell him what she thinks. She's not afraid to be who she is. She doesn't fall down. She doesn't become a doormat at his feet. She doesn't do any of that shit. And he, at the end of the movie, dances with her and says, Now I understand what it means when one woman is enough. She becomes his queen, his inspiration, his strength, his um, power, his fire of his soul. I call it sacred fire of his soul that fire in that jar sacred fire of the soul twin flames for you especially specifically you are that sacred fire of his soul so why he fell in love with her would he the king fall in love with her if she did this if she was begging him crying over him um wait for him worship him fall to her you know to his feet because he's i mean really he is a king and she is an ordinary british woman she never done nothing of this so if you want a king in your life the one who's going to act like a king and treat you as a queen, you have to be a queen. Be equal to him in everything. Again, I already explained before. If he's a doctor, you don't have education, and you only were taught to cook and clean and worship a man and, and serve the man, you are in 21st century. For God's sake, don't give me excuses. Get yourself a hobby. YouTube free videos. Paint crochet, I don't know, sculpt, create something, do something where you feel it, you got to act, you got to be equal to him. Now, there comes an important point. If you were this, okay, you were all this, and suddenly you said, no freaking way, I'm not going to be dust at his feet anymore. And you become equal to him in power. You rise to his level. You rise yourself to his level. Some of us have to pull our, ourselves out to rise to his level. You rise to his level spiritually. You rise to his level. Um, uh, you become equal to him. I don't mean if he is a heart surgeon, you become a heart surgeon. No. You can become an artist. You can become a teacher, you can become a healer, you can become a writer, but you are equally um, enjoying your job, you're enjoying your hobby, you feel good doing that, you feel appreciated doing that, you feel in your maximum power doing that, this makes you equal to him. I don't mean you have to, you know, if he's, a, I, I don't know, the, a pop star, uh, you have to become a pop star as well. Or he's a movie star, you become a movie star. If he's a movie star, become a director, become a writer, become, I don't know, become a movie star, why not? Why you limit yourself? Why are you constantly trying to limit yourself to this? Stop limiting yourself to this. He will never truly love you. He will never truly respect you. He will never truly admire you if you're going to be doing this. This he will. So if you were this and suddenly you rise and become equal to him, you do something which brings you to uh, equality to him, then you can expect him to be angry, to be upset, and you should deal with it. If he is not um, very 
um, on a high level, emotionally, spiritually, uh, mentally, uh, consciously. If you were this and you have reason to be his equal and he becomes, because narcissist, narcissist always will become angry. How dare you? How dare you, bitch? Okay, you were at my feet. You were loving me. You were worshiping me. You were giving me everything you had. And from my side, it was either very little bit or nothing. Nothing to a little bit, little bit to nothing. And suddenly you, you say, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. Suddenly you become a queen. Suddenly you do something what you enjoy. Suddenly you... Uh, Bring up in yourself your uh, own self-respect, self-dignity, self-love. If you're dealing with, well, not the, the decent man, the awesome man, a wonderful man, the man of high level of consciousness, he's going to be so happy for you. But recently, I already told you this case, and actually, this is, I do not know, twin flames, they are what, uh, the, the, it seems like they do the same thing. All over the world, I get this emails from all uh, TF's uh, female. She's like, I got this position, and now I am actually almost equal to him, and guess what? And he just, he, he acts like he wants to suffocate me and uh, murder me. Why Allah, why he's so angry? Why he's so angry? Why he's so mad? Girls, this is ego. Well, boys have ego. We have ego too, but well, boys have ego much grander than us because I already explained we have the light. They, mm, they lose that light when they um, choose uh, not what they feel, but what they think is important from material world. So uh, one became, um, one started to paint uh, relatively recently. She was right here. And uh, he is an artist as well. And he was a famous artist. And he was looking at her like, oh, whatever, give me a break. Why are you even wasting your time? Suddenly she gets her own exposition. Suddenly she gets tons of proposition. And a man acts like a cold-hearted beast. He is so angry with her success. Why men become so angry when a woman rises? Because she no longer at his feet. She's no longer worshiping him. She's no longer so. If you are with a man who uh, admires and congratulates you in your success, then of course stay with this man. If he becomes angry and he wants and prefers you to be dust and doormat, then this man can go to hell with soft L. With a very, very soft L he can go there. But TFs are different. I will be talking about TFs a little bit further there. How you can be here, uh, but you still can love him from a perspective of, of power if you choose to. I will explain why we should not only, it's not like you are obligated to love him, uh, but it, it's your TF, okay? The, the thing is that you have the same consciousness. And so you constantly are are in the same field. It's like uh, TFs are similar if I'm going to close this jar and that fire is a TF. I mean, can part of that fire go away somewhere, uh, you know, jump out and walk somewhere? No, the, this is why uh, for TFs there is a choice. You can walk away and shine your light and be a queen and become a star or whatever by still loving him. So two of you can do what you have come to this planet to do. I will talk about it li later a little bit. But even TFs, divine masculine, they don't get it. They don't understand because TFs as well, we, we all were here. At the beginning, uh, what happened, we just threw ourselves out there. Please love me, love me, love me. Say that you love me. Fool me, fool me. Come on and fool me. I can't care about anything but you. This is dormant. Okay? Love me, love me. Pretend that you love me. This is what they've done. 
pretend that you love me. They pretend that they love you. Why? Well, it's nice. All this is nice. You're just uh, everything and you're easy. You're out there. Now, if you uh, have been here and you have become this and your man is uh, angry and pissed off that you from dust started to rise somewhere, then if you can leave this man, just freaking leave him. If it's your husband and you can't leave this man, then you gotta stand up for yourself. Because some of you are going to be, okay, I want a piece in my house. I'm just going to become the servant of yours again. I'm not going to paint. I'm not going to write books. I'm not going to be a blogger because, believe it or not, like a girl, another, another example of another twin flame woman. The guy is a big shot of in, in this, uh, uh, you know, the journalism, the uh, um, uh, television journalism thing like this. She's, uh, like she consider her, she's little nobody. Uh, why we consider ourselves little nobody? The guy has fame, she doesn't. So I'm little nobody. She starts a blog. Just a freaking blog on Instagram and Facebook. It rises in several years to big, big, uh, big thing. Unexpectedly. To him, unexpectedly. To her, to him. Uh, why unexpectedly to her? Because we, we tend to think less of ourselves than we are. Uh, we don't believe in our talents. We don't believe in our gifts. When suddenly we realize we have it. We don't have to be the dust at his feet. We can walk on our own. And of course, he becomes really pissed as well. So what you can do. And what she, what she tried to do, she tried to dump it all. I love him so much, I will dump everything for him. She makes this mistake, which is make him a center of your world. What happens? For some time, he's happy. His ego is happy that she's serving him and she's not doing what she's great at. But then what happens? What happens is he loses interest. He loses his spice. He, it just, if you do this, there is only one way of this finishing. You're becoming, uh, well, you are being left behind. So be equal to him. Be equal to him in everything. Be equal and know that you are equal and even be better than him. And if he doesn't like it, it's his problem. If he can't admire your success, if he can't be happy for your success, then is there love? Tell me, girls, if you love a man, would you be thrilled about him being successful? Yes. And if he falls, are you going to run around and be happy? Ah, oh, yes, you fail, you fail. This is what you deserve, asshole. Are you going to do this? No, of course not. You're going to be sad because he failed, because you do love him. So if he loves you, he's going to be happy for your success. And he will be sad for your failure and he will be there for you. But if he's not, then dump him and walk away. But if you can't dump him and walk away, please stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself and he's going to respect you. He's going to look at you differently. He's going to look at you as a queen, not as a doormat at his feet. Use this love to rise. Use your love to rise, not to fall. What happens when you fall in love, when you love? Uh, it spices up uh, your um, creativity. People start to paint. People start to write. Write make a blog, uh, write fairy tales, write poems. TF's told you a billion times, write your stories like I did. Do something. Use this love as a fire which, uh, which is going to be your inspiration. Don't use this love as to sit in a little corner, cry and wanting to die. Use this love as fire. Now, love because you choose to love him. Love because this is your choice. But I repeat and I repeat and I repeat again. If you're going to do this, 
wait for him, cry over him, beg him, follow up, expect him to do what he has to do, depend on his actions, make him a center of your life, worship him, be dust as his feet, lose yourself, neglect yourself, refuse from yourself, you're gonna end up being discarded, you're gonna end up being treated as empty space, you're gonna end up being uh, cheated on, because if you want to be treated as a queen, you got to be a queen. As simple as that. If you want a king, you need to be a queen. You cannot expect a king if you are um, a little peasant girl. You are queens and just write it on your forehead, get yourself a, a crown and walk around wearing this crown. Now, twin flames. Hopefully have enough time. Twin Flames uh, question uh, to me uh, in um, about a dozen of emails. So you still love him? How is that? Okay. It's not I still love him. You still love him as well. We are Twin Flames. We love them. Even if we, we say we hate them. This most of us did, including myself. Okay, I'm no exception, girls. I'm not exception to nothing. I've been there, done them, just like you did. Now, I became this. After I became this, what is uh, how you still love him? My love is not of the point of view of dust as he, at his feet. As I already said, we are this jar and that flame is, we cannot escape from it. Um, it makes me really sad, uh, people who write me, I am a twin flame, and to my simple question while I'm having conversation with them, what is a twin flame, they either don't know, know what to say or they tell me some absolute nonsense. And uh, bottom line, we are employed by humanity. We are employed by this planet employed by humanity, employed by the higher forces. We're here. Uh, yes, this word mission is kind of like, oh, whatever, but it is a mission. It is a job. I don't call it mission. I call it a job. Why I uh, choose, because it's not a choice. You, you do love your twin. But um, the thing is, the problem is the word love, this L-O-V-E, it doesn't... Mm, you know, the, everything what it includes, what comes to Twin Flames, you know, the thousands, uh, millions of years of that being existing, it's really complicated to, to put it in the word love. It's much, much grander than love, much more than love. And, uh, of course, uh, as a TF, a divine masculine, already, I already explained uh, the Matrix Twin, um, can do and did and could be still doing such things to us, their counterpart, their halves, that can make us act as female, the ordinary woman, I call it. We hate them, we curse them, we tell them, you know why you don't care if I had the heart surgery or I'm dead or I'm in the middle of this stupid category seven hurricane, you don't give a damn. Why should I give a damn? This is not why we are here. This is, this has to be looked at as much grander perspective. Serving humanity. Why after uh, so many years and uh, doing so many things, at, at the point I am right now, I choose love. I choose loving him. And it doesn't mean I'm going to be a dust at his feet. I choose to love him as a from the perspective of being equal to him. I am equal to him. I am even a little bit more powerful than him when it comes to spirituality. Spiritually, I'm, I'm that spiritual twin. He is a matrix twin. He is much more powerful in matrix than me. But when it comes to other areas, I'm much more powerful. What does it mean? You both have come here to serve your humanity, especially uh, the key twin says myself, so what happens? Mm. Even those of you who had been mistreated by him, used by him, whatever. Uh, is there a risk when you, at some point, we closed ourselves uh, to them? 
at some point we did. So is there a risk you open up uh, your Anahata to him again and say, okay, I love you. Uh, is there a risk he's going to do something to you uh, not nice in 3D dimension? I mean, he can use you. I mean, use your talents or use your love or, or thinking that you are a weakness, he, that he might still be not awakened enough thinking that your love to him is a weakness. When it's your strength, it's not your weakness. Um, is there a risk he can, I don't know, lie to you, use you, mistreat you? Is there a risk? Yes. Nobody said it would be easy. Nobody gives us guarantees. Okay? But we are here to do the job. Uh, they are awakened enough they are awakened enough to understand already consciously who we are they are awakened enough to know that you are being watched and helped and supported by forces much much higher uh, than anything in 3d ever existed so if he would want to somehow treat you not right it's his risk of dealing with the forces out of there. It's not your problem. It was my choice, though. So, why? This is my choice. I love out of choice. And out of the perspective of power. And you can say to your twin flame, I love you. But it does not mean I'm going to let you to do me wrong it does not mean i am naive it does not mean i am weak it does not mean that i don't know your shadow and what that shadow is capable for i choose to love you because i am here with you on this planet to do what we have come to do. I'm telling you my case, but you see if it's going to ring the bell. Serving humanity, this is reason number one. You are the sacred fire of his soul. I am a sacred fire of his soul. He is the same fire for me, but, but the most important reason in my case, he is a sacred fire of the souls of millions of people. And if I take my fire from him and I say, you know what, go to hell with soft L or hell with hard L. I'm taking all this away. You know what? Screw you. What's going to happen? I'm going to take my sacred fire away from him. There is no fire. There is no crystal in his Anahata. Millions of people don't get lightened up by this fire. Because he can influence million people, be that fire for them, be that light for them, be that inspiration for them, be so many things for them. But if I'm going to take it away, how he's going to do it? So millions of people are going to suffer because I'm a selfish bitch. I'm not going to love you anymore. Go to hell. I'm just I'm walking away. It doesn't mean I cannot be with another man. I can get engaged. I can, where is my ring? I can get engaged. I can get married. You know, I can be, uh, I can be married woman. But it doesn't mean I will take this from him. This love is above and beyond anything you can think of. So my love will be there with him as a sacred fire of his soul. So he can be that sacred fire for millions and lighten up their hearts. You understand me? This is love from point of power, not weakness. Doesn't mean I'm going to sit and cry over him. No, but I'm going to be giving him this love and have that love in him so he can do this. I am going to be his inspiration, his strange, his dream, his queen, whatever. Queen on a chessboard. Protecting the king, because king can only do one step, one square at a time. Queen can go anywhere. So be his guardian angel. 
inspiration, strength is this sacred fire. I have no right to take it from him because then if I do, then million peoples are going to be left uninspired. He's inspiration for millions. He's the light for millions. He is the sacred fire in hearts of millions. Do I have the right to be selfish and get it away from him? No. He has to have that sacred fire in him. Do you have to do the same thing? I would ask you to. But if you don't want to, it's your choice. We must look at this from much higher perspective. We must be who we are to win flames are. We must do what we have come here to do. We are given this. We agree to this. We are doing this. Whether you are physically with him, physically on another continent or another planet from him, you are a sacred fire of his soul. You have the right to not be or to be. I choose to be because this is my duty. This is what I'm here for. What you're going to do depends on you. But the bottom line, be queens and never dust at his feet. The queen you are, be the queen. Think as a queen, act as a queen. Shine, shine. You came here to shine, shine your light. I hope it was helpful, my beautiful queens. Uh, namaste.